Tyson Mysteries. The login. Oh, I thought we were doing. You just told me episode three. I thought you meant Star Wars. Oh no, no, sorry, Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, let's see. This episode is all about Mike Tyson and astronauts. When I became heavyweight champion of the world, it was my dream that an astronaut might take me to other worlds mm -hmm. for me to be heavyweight champion of those worlds too. <laughs> okay. I love astronauts. Uh, uh. Say it again for me. Mike Tyson and astronauts. Oh. That's, that's pretty much all this episode's about. <laughs> so we've gone from chupacabras to chess grand wizards. Grandmasters. Oh, Grandmasters, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, a Grandmaster. <laughs> uh, and now we're here with astronauts and, of course, Buzz Aldrin. Hey, your jacket says Buzz Aldrin. You're not the astronaut Buzz Aldrin, are you? No, I'm the jazz singer Buzz Aldrin. Of course I'm the astronaut. Yep. I feel like he's been, like, in pop culture recently besides this, right? Um, I feel like I saw him in another cartoon. I wouldn't be surprised if he was in The Simpsons. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet the two experienced astronauts who will accompany the winner into space. Ray Spanion and Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon. Second comes right after first. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but it's just one of the first men on the moon. You know. But not the first. That's why I said one up. <laughs> but not the first. <laughs> and from a fellow space traveler, it's a true honor. The honor is mine. If only they could have gotten Neil Armstrong. Damn you, Neil! <laughs> you always steal my thunder! <laughs> Neil Armstrong probably, I don't even know, he probably gets like cool movie deals or something. Buzz Aldrin gets this. <laughs> he gets Mike Tyson mysteries. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, I, I'm sure he's a great guy. Yeah, and also it's definitely not him doing the voice. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I didn't think it was Mike Tyson doing his voice in the first one. Luckily for us, it is. I have no joke. <laughs> no, it's more like he's in on the joke, and that's what makes it funnier. I mean, I did laugh twice as hard when they showed the first time that he was, like, voicing his own character at the very end. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can say, surpassed my expectations. Met my expectations. Surpassed my expectations. Or fell short of my expectations. Surpassed my expectations. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you think about the Mystery Mobile? Because it seemed to explore this one a little bit more. Yeah. Like we learned a little bit more about it. Well, I mean, what did we really learn about it, though? Well, I learned that it had his tattoo on the side of it, which I didn't see any of the other times, and I think that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you know, he's got the tattoo on the side of it, but also apparently the AC doesn't work properly. Right, right. And if Mike punches it, he winds up knocking out the engine. And uh, what else, what else? There was one other thing. Oh, yeah, and his clock never knew about daylight savings time. I <laughs> one. Uh, thing I do like about this series is like the things that come up where you'd expect him to just have a lot of money and so he'd be able to afford like an awesome van. Yeah. This is just like a regular van. <laughs> Can't afford to fix the AC. Right, and there's no special equipment designs or anything. Uh -huh. It's just, just, a, just a nice paint job. <laughs> <laughs> regular ass. Craigslist van. <laughs> Probably spent all the money on the paint job. A raggedy van. <laughs> that was all the mystery budget he had. I don't know why the Raggedy Van and Raggedy Vandy just came to my mind. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, save that one, put it in your pocket for later. Yeah. Just my imaginary front pocket. No, I got something in my front pocket for you. Wrong show, wrong show. Stay focused. <laughs> I love how every time he has to call, you know, his insurance company, he always does the survey. Would you be willing to take a short customer service survey about your experience today? How long would it take? About 15 minutes. Sure. Thank you for taking this brief survey. Is your claim representative courteous? 
Well, sure, would you mind taking a short 15 minutes early? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Surpass my expectations. <laughs> uh, all right, if I ever want Mike Tyson to say something, then I'm just going to tell you to say it because I went to the voice very well. I'm just going to keep that in the back of my head. <laughs> say anti disestablishment, Terry. Anti disestablishment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, like, they're just going like this. Oh, man. Look at look it. Look at it. Auto shop. And it looks like every auto shop you've ever been in in your life. It really does. <laughs> Cheap ass plastic chairs. Mm -hmm. Blinds are all drawn. Mm. Uh, Car ass. magazine. <laughs> rusty ass vending machine. Yeah. God. I think rationally, Mike. You know it's bad when there's a vending machine and you're not. You're like, I don't even know if I want the Snickers out of there. Like that's oof. Oh uh, no. Much less a, an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> I can't tell if that's halls or a payday. Look. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. <laughs> so what is he doing here? Uh, he getting the mystery mobile. I'm sorry. The, he's getting the mystery mobile replay, repaired. Okay. And in the meantime, he's trying to figure out why he keeps killing astronauts. That's right, because they just reported that he killed ten. Yeah. Ten ongoing investigations? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So why am I killing astronauts? Went through it. Think rationally. Okay, good. So far, he's killed ten astronauts, according to his insurance company. Or, no, no, no. Uh, he's been in, in ten accidents, and as a result, astronauts were killed. <laughs> no, that's right. Please, sir, do not admit liability. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Norm MacDonald. Uh, the perfect, terrible joke. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, black guy, gay guy, and a Chinese girl get into a cab. <laughs> it's like the start of a joke. I think that's one of the first times they've animated his face different than just like the side view. Like yeah. The scrunched up face. Like they actually gave him like that pondering look. Uh huh. <laughs> and I love how they just randomly throw out John in the air. <laughs> yeah, no joke. I feel like they're, they're really, I guess that's going to be part of the format going on, is just famous people. Famous people in here all the time. Yeah. So, so you got a. Uh, Elton John, they got Buzz Aldrin, they have Elon Musk, Richard Branson, mm -hmm. uh, that's it, right? Yeah, and uh, let's see, they had the creator, the founder of IBM. Thomas Watson. Thomas Watson. Full disclosure on that one, had no idea who that was. <laughs> and now we're slightly smarter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because of my testing. I don't know if he's still the CEO since, you know, they kind of voted him out um, after he was a machine, but... No, like, I don't, I don't know. Is he still the current uh, CEO or creator? I don't even know, man. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure he's dead at this point. That was, that was, the, that was the whole point of that joke. <laughs> so Marcus is just like, wait, wasn't IBM founded in the 1940s? Shouldn't he be dead? No. Oh. <laughs> um, because he was a machine. I get it. Alright. See, it's even like a future joke from that episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this bit. <laughs> So like, Michael, you can't go alone. It's like, well, you guys can't come with me because if you do, then you'll be astronauts, and I'll be forced to kill you. <laughs> His logic is the best, dude. Because uh, he's not like dumb. He, he just has really skewed logic. Because that's, yeah. that takes you know some logic to put that together. Yep. <laughs> just really stupid logic, but it's logical. <laughs> I wonder if they studied his character, like the writers just hung out with him for a while and you know yeah. try to get his humor if he's like actually that ridiculous in real life. That would be funny. I mean, I'm a shit roll. Although I don't know how I feel about young he's blackface. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, you look like Dion Warren. I think it's cool. Is that, is that, is that right? I don't know. It's hard to say. It's Mike Tyson, so I gotta let it go. <laughs> it's cool because you know. It, he did. <laughs> I know, right? Like when uh, Neil Patrick Harris was doing hosting the Oscars, and they had that big musical number in the beginning, and Mike Tyson comes out, starts dancing with them, and you know Neil Patrick Harris is singing a song. He's all like, "That's right, it's bigger. That right, just bigger." And then like, Mike Tyson's what? just like, "Yes, it's bigger." And just keeps dancing. And I'm just like, "Oh, he let it go." Oh wow! 
I t- no, I don't remember that. I didn't well, know that what, whether he thing. meant to say it or not, he said it. I rewinded it several times. <laughs> me if it's random, but Mike Tyson had a one-man show. Let's give the man a hand and make things bigger. I'm here with Iron Mike. He's a heavyweight. Yo, we're going bigger. Light is nigger. Wow. I'm like, no, that's definitely a hard end. <laughs> you mean a hard part? No, a hard end. No. As opposed to the B. Oh, gotcha. He was supposed to say it's bigger. That's oh. right, it's bigger. <laughs> Instead he goes, right, it's bigger. <laughs> Not seriously, YouTube that shit. <laughs> the NPH called Mike Tyson being a word and Mike Tyson let it slide. Well, I mean, not right now. YouTube it later. Yeah, no, no. Finish our video first. <laughs> and then uh, the big secret. I wonder what the big secret's supposed to be. Because, like, in the beginning, Buzz Aldrin's talking about, oh, I know the biggest secret in the universe. <laughs> And it involves you, you Mike. Huh? Secrets? <laughs> I happen to know the biggest secret on Earth. Or maybe the universe. Can you stop talking to my dad it right involves now? you. Dad, the road. Look at that smile on his face. <laughs> yeah. And all we know is it involves Mike Tyson's tattoo and the moon. Do you think most people know who Richard Branson is? I don't. He's the... I might not even know. Pretty sure he owns Virgin. Yeah. Oh! It's always like jet setting and shit. Okay. I think, yeah. Okay. Always has really nice jeans. <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay, so that's what. Now, now I get that bit about Elon Musk saying at least my ship will get there before that dig Richard Branson. Yep. Um, and then he shows, and then Mike Tyson shows up, and apparently he's already there. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But he killed him, so no one will ever know. This is pretty good. I like the the ending, how they tie everything back together. Yep. <laughs> With the astronomers. Uh -huh. They let him know he's been killing astronomers, then the astronomer runs out. And... He killed it. Oh, oh man. Another fender bender. I swear that's my favorite running joke. <laughs> oh man. Another fender bender man. Oh. It, it's really good. <laughs> Oh man. And of course they kill with the real life uh, thing at the end. Yeah. To pass my expectations. To pass my expectations. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you're supposed to do that. Mine's not good. That <laughs> uh, wasn't too bad. Alright, cool. To pass my expectations. <laughs> I'm giving them the best of the teeth. To pass my expectations. To pass my expectations. I can't do it. <laughs> Alright, so that's episode three. Uh, we'll see you guys in episode four. I don't know, have you guys seen the show yet? Leave a comment or something. Let us know what's going on. You yeah. know, what do you think of this episode? What do you think of this episode? The world would like to know. Well, also us. Yeah, specifically us. It's pretty much just us. Probably. Hold me. <laughs> no, wait, no. I thought we were doing vlogging thing. We were doing pro hugs. That's cool. No, no, no. We'll coordinate next time. Bro vlogs. Share it up. Night, y'all.